Tape Dark City Run. That's the series which in firstly I need to get some good items, to go to found the Deep Dark City, to be the Warden and after that to make a big base in the Deep Dark City. Enjoy! Hello everyone, my name is No Fabric and welcome to Deep Dark City Run. In that episode I want to make a full netherite armor with a lot of good enchants. For the beginning of that episode I will start to collect my ore crops and replant that. And I started to make a mine direct to the bedrock because I want to gather a lot of ancient debris. I mine randomly down and I found here a wither skeleton. That's a little bit weird. It's a nether fortress. That's, that's very interesting. That was a very hot situation. And here is an ancient debris. I found the first piece of ancient debris and I'm very close to die. That, that's, that's a very hot situation. That's incredible. I remind only in one heart and a half. But anyway, I have the totem and it's not a problem. And I took the first piece of ancient debris and I make a big achievement. After a little bit of time I found another piece of ancient debris. I found another piece of ancient debris and I think that's enough to upgrade my pickaxe to a nether red pickaxe. And I make an achievement with that tribal fortress. I arrive back in the overworld, I place my ancient debris to smelt. I make a smithing table and the first piece of netherite ingot and i transform my diamond pickaxe with efficiency 5 into a netherite pickaxe with efficiency 5 and i go back in nether to get more netherite scarp i mine for a lot of time and i make here a giant hole and i got 30 piece of ancient debris i spend a lot of time by mining and finally i have enough piece of ancient debris to make a full armor and a sword now i will start to repair my netherite pickaxe by collecting quartz I arrive back from the nether and I place my ash debris to smelt. And now I will try to get the all enchants which I need for my armor from that villagers. I make 3 stone cutters and I place that in the front of that villagers because I think it's a good idea to sell clay for emeralds. I have some clay and I start to sell that to that villagers. I return to my old base and from here I can get a lot of clay to sell my villagers and get a lot of emeralds. After I spend some time here, I fill up my entire inventory with clay. When I arrive home, I go directly to my villagers and I start to sell a lot of clay to that. After some time, I get the old book which I need to make a very good armor and firstly I start to make some unbreaking tree. And now I start to place the all enchants on my armor and I don't have enough XP. For that I go back in nether and I start to mine quartz to get XP. And now I can place that mending on my helmet and now I have a very good helmet but I want to transform that into a netherite helmet. I make more netherite ingot and I transform a diamond helmet into a netherite helmet. And now I transform my shoes into a netherite shoes. And now I will go back in nether to gather more XP by collecting quartz. And after that I place mending on that leggies. I transform that into a netherite one and now I'm full netherite. I need a better sword to be the warden and I think sharpness 5, a breaking tree and mending it's enough to be the warden. And I need another villagers with sharpness 5. Collect my old sugar cane and I beat some cows and I gather enough materials to make a lot of books. I made a lectern and now I will try to get sharpness 5 from that villager. And I buy the sharpness 5. Now I need mending and a breaking tree. After I gather 2 book with unbreaking 2, I made unbreaking tree and now I need to go in nether to gather more XP by mining quartz. I return back in overworld with a lot of XP and now I can place that all enchants on my sword. The first is sharpness 5, unbreaking tree and the last one is mending. After that I will transform that sword into a netherite sword. And now I have a netherite sword with sharpness 5, unbreaking tree and mending. That's a very good sword and now I think I'm ready to be the warden. And for that I go directly down in the giant mine and I will start to search for a deep dark city. I started to mine random here and I found some diamond. That's incredible. After I explored for some time in the giant cave I found here a deep dark city that's incredible and i need to beat that spider deep dark city that does look like gorgeous in survival and i'm very curious to see the warden in hardcore i explore a little bit more the environments and i think that i found another deep dark city i'm not sure about that but i think that's another deep dark city 
I prepare here a way to location where I can beat the warden very easy and firstly I will go to destroy that um, I don't know exactly the name of that little thing but that are spawn the warden and I destroy that I destroy that and that one are spawn the warden that's not too good and I will go very fast the location where I say that I will be the warden very easy and I make your little location where I can be the warden in a very easy way and the warden are here and I attract the warden to me now I will start to be that in a very in a very easy way with that water trick and he gives me a lot of damage that's literally incredible how much damage R can give me that warden and I broke the totem that's literally incredible and I need some block and I block me here that's incredible I was very close to die I didn't think exactly if it's a good idea to go to try to be the warden again or to, to run. I think that is not the best idea but I will try to beat again the warden. And I beat the warden, that, that's incredible, but finally I beat that warden. That was a very hard battle but I beat that warden and I didn't get any special items but I beat the warden that's that's incredible I was very close to die because I lose my totem but I will try to light a little bit that area I will start to collect that skulk sensor but unfortunately I didn't get that because uh, I don't have seal touch I think that's the problem because I didn't get that skulk uh, skulk sensor. I light a little bit, I light a little bit that area, and I need a lot of more torches to light the entire the dark city. And I need another totem to be a little bit safer. And for that, I will go back to the surface and I will start and I will start to make another way to the surface. And I found diamond. That's that's literally incredible. And I took that very fast. After a lot of time, in the middle of the night, I arrived to the surface. I arrived back to the Woodley Mansion and I will start to search for a evoker. I made a lectern and now I will try to gather power 4. After some time, I found power 4 and now I need some emeralds to buy that. Because I don't want to lose that raid, I will buy a bookshelf and now I will go to make more emeralds. After some time, I gather enough emeralds to buy that power 4. And now I will try to gather punch too. I found here infinity and I blocked that raid. And after a little bit of time I found punch 1. I will turn back to my old base because I need a lot of clay. And for that I go in my mine and I start to collect clay. And I fill up my entire inventory with clay. And I go to sell the clay to my villagers. I place infinity on that bow and now I have a very powerful bow. I found here a good village for a ride and I will start to prepare that. I found a pillager outpost and now I will try to get a bad omen. And I get the bad omen. And here is the pillagers. And I beat the first ride very easy. And I beat the ride number 2 another in a very easy way. And here is a totem that, that's incredible, literally incredible. Uh, the evoker was beat by the by my iron golem and now I will go to took that totem very fast because I need that which a pillager that's not uh, not too hard to beat and I have the totem and now I can say I am invincible I beat the evoker in a very easy way again and I go very fast to took the totem and the ride number seven are star with a lot of very powerful mobs and the ride number 7 is finished and I finished that ride, that's incredible but finally I finished that ride and I have a villager hero achievement. And finally after a lot of time I get seal touch. I made the diamond pickaxe and I place that seal touch on that. I go back to the deep dark city and I continue to lighting that and removing the little thing which has spawned the warden. 
And that is the first chest which I open. Some skulk, infinity, a name tag, some snowball, and that's the whole stuff. I beat another warden. And I beat that warden. And after that I will go back to the surface because I need more coal to make more torches. That's very interesting, but after some times I found another structure with a skeleton head. And very close to that here is some diamonds. And I beat another world. And I beat that. After a little bit of time I found more diamonds. And some more diamonds here. And I beat that warden. And I beat another warden. And another one. That was a very hot situation. Another warden are spawned. And I and that warden are broke my one totem. And I'm very lucky because I have two totems in my inventory. And now I need to beat that very strong warden. And another one. Because I remind without any piece of coal, I go to search some. After a little bit time, I gather a lot of coal. And after that, I continue to light a deep dark city. That was the last skull strikers from that deep dark city. And now that two deep dark city is free. I found here a lot of slime. And I start to beat that because some slime is very good. Because it's possible to I need some slime in the future. And now that 2D Dark City is world of free. <laughs>